So you've made an awesome map in Dungeon Draft or Dungeon Fog or some other tool to make dungeons, and you want to pull it into Foundry, but you don't want to have to go through the tedious activities of adding each of the walls and doors and windows and all of that fun stuff, making sure that the grids align properly. You want to just pull in your work and move on. Well, I have got an easy solution for that. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So when you're in uh, whatever your tool is and you're ready to export, you will hit the export button. And as long as you have the option of doing universal VTT, it'll work. I'm demonstrating on Dungeon Draft. Here's a quick example of what that looks like on Dungeon Fog. Uh, it's the same process, just make sure you are exporting to Universal VTT. My recommendation is that you leave the lighting on so that your lights will transfer over into the foundry, but turn your grid off, and I'll get into why that is in a little bit. The rest of it, I just like going with the defaults most of the time, with the exception, I usually set the grid PPI to 150 pixels. Uh, when you're ready, go ahead and just export it. I'll name this Dungeon 1 because I'm super creative. So once you've exported your file, how do you get it into Foundry? First, you'll need to download the mod Universal Battle Map Importer by Mooman, and I will link that down in the description. Once you install that, activate it through the normal means, and on your Scenes selection, you will see at the bottom this new button. Once you click that, you can name it whatever you want, or you can leave it blank and it'll use whatever the name of the file is. Uh, you can choose the file that you want to bring in. And that's pretty much it that I usually do. Uh, you can adjust the fidelity. This basically determines how accurate each of the points for the walls will be when you pull it in. The default works wonderful for me, and I've never had to adjust that. Uh, same with the other ones. that You can play with some of the other tools and options on there, but the defaults typically work wonderful. So... Once you're ready, you hit import, and there it goes. It has pulled it in. Not only has it pulled it in, but we have walls, doors, all of that stuff. The only thing is every window or portcullis or anything will just function like a normal door, so you will have to go in afterwards and allow light and sight to go through. And for this portcullis, I actually want the door locked as well. Uh, and make any adjustments to the windows as well. I also said to turn the grids off, and that is because once you pull it into Foundry, the grids will already be on the screen. And if you want to darken them up, you can just change the opacity. If you want to use hex squares, you can do that. If you left the grids on, then you can't really switch it to hexes or make any adjustments because the grid stuck on there. Like I said, with the way the fidelity is on most of my maps, if you have a squared map, it'll work just fine. But this was also pulled in, and so you can see it does just fine around the corners and keeping the view how it should be. Well, there you go. That is how you can easily import maps with the walls and lighting in place. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.